Phosphorus is an element that can come in a few different forms. Yes, these different allotropes have different levels of reactivity, and white's one of the more crazy ones. One of the most reactive forms is white phosphorus, and a while ago, I was able to get some chunks of it. It's stored underwater nice. to protect it from air, and the moment I take it out, it starts smoking. So in nuclear fuel labs, uranium hydride behaves the same way. These are handled only under argon-filled glove boxes to prevent fires and explosions. This is because it's reacting with oxygen and letting off phosphorus oxides. Uranium and zirconium behave similarly under nuclear accident conditions, which is why reactor containment atmospheres are kept inert. It's often used to make large amounts of smoke, but it's also sometimes used as a weapon which is a bit terrifying. Yeah, just like plated uranium is used in armor-piercing rounds. A dual-use material with both industrial and destructive applications. This is because white phosphorus is not only very toxic, it's also super hard to put out when it's on fire. To test this, I'm just going to light this small piece. It immediately yeah. starts burning and splashing, but I can put it out by just smothering it, which makes it seem not that bad. It forms a protective oxide layer. It breaks apart as it cools down, which re-exposes the fresh stuff. That's why these sort of accidents are so heavily prepared for in nuclear plants. However, because it's so reactive with air, this is what happens when I take away the dish. Yep, it's gonna reignite. Yep, like a reactor that turns critical when you turn your back.